Nesava, this is Laserbolt coming at you with another Far Cry 6 video. Today we're going to be talking about the three weapons you need to get for the new DLC, the Pagan DLC, that's available for you guys who got the Season Pass or bought the Expansion Pass. Now, I'm a little bit under the weather, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. We're going to try to get this video out as quickly as we possibly can for you guys and try to do it as smoothly as we can. So, let's talk about these weapons. Now, the thing about these particular weapons... I'm going to give you one weapon that's going to help you get the two other additional weapons. Now, the reason is, if you ever played the Voss DLC, you remember that this is based on waves of enemies. And if you don't have the good starting weapon, you're going to get stuck because trying to get the other weapons are a little bit more difficult. And if you don't have a, a decent weapon to actually kill those enemies, then you're not you're going to have a very hard time getting the two main weapons that you really want to get. I'm going to mention a fourth one. Because after you get like kind of like your basic weapon that's going to help you get the other weapons, you might want to put this in your arsenal. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, a like would be greatly appreciated. It does help us with the algorithm, so make sure you guys hit us up with that like. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you did get a chance to play the DLC, uh, which one did you like more, Voss or the Pagan one? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, so let me pull up the map and show you guys exactly what we're looking at and what we're talking about here. So this is the map, guys. When you spawn in, you're going to spawn in this location right here, which is called the dinner table. Now, this is going to be the main location where you're at. Now, I'm going to give you guys the weapon that I feel like you should pick up early. And the first weapon you should pick up, because not only is it easy to pick up due to the fact that the enemies and the difficulty level is very low, but because the weapon is actually pretty good as well, killing the enemies while you're trying to get the other two weapons. And that weapon, guys... Is going to be this right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys within the arsenal. And then I'll show you guys the location. That is going to be the LMG. We're going to go here with the LMG. Where's the LMG here? The machine gun case. This one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this case. This is the MG21. Now this particular weapon is pretty good. The reason why it's pretty good when you're fighting different enemies here. Especially with this DLC. Is the fact that. That it, for some reason this DLC has two main things. Number one, it has a lot of people in high altitude places. So there is a lot of verticality. So, you know, it, this gun does help you to map a little bit. So you are able to get those shots a little bit further out. In addition to that, you have a lot of rounds in your magazine. So you're not going to be constantly reloading. And the ads here seem to spawn a lot quicker than they did in the Voss DLC. So it's always good to have a weapon that you can multi-kill enemies with without having to reload or switch a gun. So, highly recommend you guys definitely pick this one up. And this is going to be your your starting off weapon due to the fact that this particular weapon has a very low difficulty of actually being able to obtain it. Now remember, when you get the gun, you're always able to reload it. Even though the damage is really low, you will have a lot of bullets to actually play with. So, where do you actually pick up this gun? Let's pull up the map here, and this is the location of the weapon. So. It's called the King's Ransom Machine Gun. Now, this is double difficulty number three. Unfortunately, guys, the other weapons that are level difficulty number two aren't really that great, where I would recommend you guys picking it up because they're going to do a lot of damage. This is actually the one I would probably decide to tell you guys. Pick this one up, even though it's difficult, difficulty three, you're going to have a hard time actually killing the ads. But once you get the weapon, you guys should be pretty, pretty solid when it comes to clearing the rest of the mobs. Because apart from this, the other one option that we had was getting a bow. And the bow is good, but not effective when there's so many ads coming out your way. So this is the one I would recommend. Priority, pick this one up first. And once you pick this one up, we're gonna talk about the other weapon that we wanna get. So let's go back into our arsenal. Now this weapon right here, guys, this is gonna be your main bread and butter. This weapon right here, the SMG, this does everything you want, close range, mid range long range this weapon is going to be your best friend if you wanted to pick a weapon that does every single thing and does it well this is the gun you want to go with okay because this is the one that's going to be helping you get all that stuff so as you see guys i've actually upgraded this already when you first pick it up you won't be getting all the mods but you will be getting these stats so we have 60 uh 600 rounds per minute that's 32 in the mag should give you enough to be able to kill two to three ads without having to reload which is actually pretty pretty good that's really good damage and it has really good handling so you're going to be able to kind of tap the, if it's like if someone's at a long range you're going to want to make sure you zoom in 
and you tap to shoot that should give you enough damage there now let's go ahead and pull up the map and now this one's a little bit further in which is all the way over here the cool thing about this one is that once you pick up this gun right here guys you will be able to go to this door number three and that door number three will automatically throw you to this door number three and then you'll be able to get this one now this one is a little bit difficult guys because this one will have some ads they'll have uh, fire mobs as well so you're going to be constantly needing to be moving back and forth making sure you don't get shot so you can make sure that you're not dying because if you die you lose everything and talking about dying i'm going to have a video telling you guys exactly where you should spend your points when you're progressing to this so you guys know exactly what you prioritize and what you should not prioritize when actually playing this and being able to complete it now like i said this is basically the only weapon you need in the game it should help you carry you throughout the entire campaign or throughout the entire dlc because once you pick up this smg you won't want to go back this this weapon is a monster it is really 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 good this is this one right here which is the rifle case and this one right here is the SSGP58. Now this particular weapon is really good because the damage is really awesome, has really good velocity, and it has 40 in the max. So that allows you to kill multiple ads at once. And one interesting thing I actually found about this particular rifle or assault rifle was the fact that when you actually get it, it comes with a scope already integrated. So that makes it really effective because like I said, this particular uh, DLC has a lot of verticality and you're gonna wanna make sure you see enemies at a longer distance. Having that scope is a very nice addition without having to upgrade it gives you the advantage of having a very decent weapon without the need of having to upgrade the actual armor catch or the actual armor weapon. Now, this is definitely the one that's going to should probably, just like the SMG, this could possibly carry you guys throughout the entire campaign or throughout the entire DLC without you needing any other additional weapon. And those are the three main weapons I would recommend. Now, where do you actually get this weapon? Let me go ahead and pull up the map so you guys know exactly where you go. To prioritize that this particular weapon is going to be located right here and it's going to be part of this rifle right here the king ransom ransom rifle now the reason why mine does not show that that is the reward is because i already had the gun so it's not going to give me that particular reward per se but you guys know exactly where you go you got to get pick it up the first time so there you guys have it those are the three main weapons that i would recommend you pick up first when you play this dlc now i did say i did want to mention you guys a fourth one because I feel it's going to help you out exponentially once you get rid of that LMG. You're going to want to make sure you guys pick up the, uh, where is he at? The thumper right here, the grenade launcher. This one's actually pretty, pretty good. It's going to help you clear a bunch of mobs. And as long as you know how to aim and shoot, you should be able to do a ton of damage. As you see right there, guys, this thing damage, oof, up the wazoo. Comes one in the mag, so you're going to get that fast reload. But once you get that fast reload, you should be really good with that amount of damage to clear multiple ads with one single fire. That should help you clear this out. Now, where do you probably pick this one up? Let me go ahead and pull up the map once again to go show you guys exactly where this is going to be located. So that's actually going to be located right here, which is going to be part of the grenade launcher. So you're going to be able to pick this one up. And once you pick this up, guys, and you put those main three weapons together, get rid of that LMG, get your assault rifle going, get your sniper rifle, and you also get your thumper. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to be causing so much havoc. It's going to make this thing really easy for you guys. And there you guys have it, guys. Those are the best weapons as part of the DLC that you're able to obtain. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of the DLC, if you like it or not. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.